Welcome back to Mommy's Day Off. Don't forget to hit that like and bell button to get notifications. Yes, mga mommies and sis, ang ating lifestyle sa pagtrabaho or pag-aaral ay blended. So we get to experience back problems or sometimes tinatamad tayong mag-aaral. Here's our recommendation. Get yourself your Bosch chair, recommended also by my friend Jim. And today, I will share with us our Easy Assemble Tips, which is my new vlog after my long absence. Thank you so much po. Still, we have reached our 342 subscribers. Thank you so much. Ayan. So, ito po nakuha namin sa Shopee. Nabili namin sa Shopee. And the first step is very easy. So, you just have to ready and check all the things that's included sa box na binili natin. So, for sa aming complete naman, and ito yung first step, you have to attach the rollers dito po sa paa, yung steel na paa ng ating chair. Well, uh, madali lang siya ilagay. Just make sure that yung holes is nakatapat siya and with force, isa, isusuksuk natin siya and that's it. So, mag attach siya, marili niyo, tik, ayan, naka-attach na siya. Ayan, alright? So, mga mommies and sis, the next thing, of course, that we need to do after we have assembled itong paa, which is the very first thing, kasama ng first part, is itong uh, frame ng kanyang uh, uh, chair. So, yan yung trunk na sinasabi. You just have to also put a lot of, like, effort to make sure na uh, pasok siya sa loob. Mafe-feel din naman natin siya na masikip na. So, pwedeng-pwede na natin siyang sundan ng ating next step. You don't have to worry because the guide is very easy and simple to follow. The next step is itong ating uh, pag attach ng adjusters. So, meron kasi nakalagay na na screw dyan. You just have to unscrew that first you, using yung maliit na tool na yan. Alright, hindi siya screwdriver but it's very easy. And then you just have to reattach the screw. Make sure na naka-align lang naman yung mga holes na yan. Madaling-madali na siyang sundan. You won't get lost kasi nandun na rin yung uh, butas niyan. And then the third step, you just have to attach itong base ng chair dito sa mismong trunk na nilagay natin ahead of time. So just make sure na nakalagay or nakalapat lang naman yung holes dyan sa taas, sa baba. Maririnig din natin na magtitik yan once it's rightfully attached. Tulad ng ganito, you just have to put some pressure and then attach na po siya. So very simple lang siya mga mami and sis, no? This is a fourth step. You have to attach na itong magpo-connect ng base sa back part ng chair. So, ganun din siya mga mami senses. You just have to screw in yung nakalagay niya sa parang T-shape. And uh, madali lang naman siyang buhatin. Magaan siya. And slowly, you have, that, you have to attach that T-part to the back base of the chair. Ayan. So, yan. Kitang-kita naman mga mami senses. So, once it's aligned, so we already have attached the base and... Uh, the back part of the chair, you are now ready to attach yung arm part. So, you just have to attach both of the arm part and then you can test yung adjuster ng upuan. Alright? Meron din siyang reclining part na you can recline. So, this is how it looks like after we have already attached everything. So, of course, for now, the most important part is we have to check yung massage part. Kasi ito talaga isa sa magandang part ng Bosch chair na to. Alright, you get to relax because it has a massager sa buong back part niya. Tulad nito mga mami and sis. So, it has uh, actually three or four different kinds of mode. So, merong mabilis pang relax. Tapos, merong parang punching part. And then, meron din namang malalaking punch. So, sobrang nakaka-relax siya. Parang nga siyang yung upuan sa kubaw na tig-bente-bente pag naghulog ka. Pwede kang... Mag-relax. So, so far, mga mommies and sis, we really like the quality, the function, and it's a good deal. So, we rate it as a 5. So, masayang-masaya kami. We love Bosch Chair. Thank you so much for watching, mga mommies and sis.